Welcome back for another video. This video is going to be Inventor and it's going to teach you how to do a pack and go for files that have, well, yeah, for files that have more than one connected file. So a good example here would be this assembly. So we have this assembly drawing and this basically contains uh, one, two, three, four different parts. So if I kind of look at my... Um, at my file here with all the parts in it. So I have one, two, three, four, five different parts. I have an assembly and I have a drawing file. So what this is going to do, it's gonna pack them all in a zip file so that everything is there. That way, if you send this to somebody, they have access and they have the ability to change stuff. So if I wanted to change something on the drawing, obviously I would need to change the solid part as well. Well, if you neglected to include that, uh, or if you include it separately, it's not going to be able to link it. You have to relink all of your solid parts to the drawing file. So what this will do is it will prevent that from happening. Everything will know where it's at. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the best thing to do is open the parent file, which is usually going to be the assembly drawing. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to file save as. And I'm going to use this little arrow. I'm going to go to pack and go. And we hit OK. OK. Um, when I create this, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have all my settings correct. So my destination file, where do I want to save this? For now, I'm just going to save this in my downloads. And I'm going to create a folder and just call it um, pack. Hit OK. Um, I didn't create it. New folder. And we're going to save it in that. Hit OK. OK, so there you can see it says pack. OK, I'm going to package this as a zip. One of the things you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you have skip libraries, skip styles, and skip templates selected. I also want to turn off collect work groups, uh, at least in my case anyway. So this is really a preferences thing. Uh, but I always tell my students not to not to have these on and or sorry not to have this one on but to have these on that way we don't get all that stuff that I don't really need all I want is their files um, their drawing files their solid files and a potentially their assembly files maybe a presentation file if it's an exploded view um, I'm gonna go ahead and search I'm gonna see if I can find all my my drawings, it looks like I have them all here. So you always want to confirm that they're all in here. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit start. And I'm just making sure. Okay, so I also have model files only selected. I do want to include linked files as well. Um, and I'm going to hit start. It says the list may not correspond correctly with the current dialogue settings to ensure this list is correct. Click cancel and search again. It is correct. I did check that. Done. Okay, now if I go into downloads, I have a pack.zip in there. I'm going to extract all, extract, place the file in destination, and you can see there all of my files are included in here. I have my drawing file, I have my shit, uh, the assembly there. I'm going to close this one, I'm going to open, I'm going to open this drawing. Notice when I open that, it opens without a problem. So it doesn't say, hey, I can't find this part. I can't find this part. Can you relink it? It knows where everything's at. So it makes it really, really easy for someone if you're emailing this to them, um, if you're putting it on a, even just on a flash drive or if you're uploading it to a file share site or something like that. It's the best way to share these files. Anyway, hope this is helpful. 